All right, I'm going to show you how we use QuickTime to re screen record videos. Um, <clears throat> I am using ScreenFlow right now, but QuickTime is just a, a lot simpler tool to use. So that's funny that came up. Um, I'm going to open QuickTime. It'll open up here. And then what we'll do is go to File, New Screen Recording. And then what you want to be sure you do, because I've made this mistake uh, before, is to click on that little arrow and make sure you're moving your audio from none to your internal microphone. Uh, once that's done, then what we'll do is hit record, and it's going to ask you um, whether you want to record the full screen or drag just a part of the screen. So if you want to record just a part of the screen, what you'll do here is just literally click outside of that, and then you can select the area that you want to record. And then you'll say start recording. So you hit start recording, give it a sec. What you're watching is this up here. Once that turns black, that means it's actually recording your audio, recording your video. And then when you want that video to stop, all you need to do is come up here and just click this again. Boom. And now it'll bring up this screen recorded video for you. And what you want to do is um, go file, save. And now it'll give you the ability to name this video. So this can be, let's just say test one. Oops. Um, and then it asks you where you want to save this video. And then you can select where you want to save it. A lot of times when we save videos, We'll save them. I don't really have anything up right now, but we'll save it to an external hard drive um, that's big enough to hold a bunch of videos. And then from that hard drive, we'll upload it um, into YouTube. Or often what I'll do is I'll use an app called, uh, called Handbrake, which you can see here. And that will compress the video to make it smaller uh, so that we can upload it and it takes less time. So maybe I'll show you how to do that right now, actually. Um, so we call this, let's say, test one. Let's just say I save it on my uh, desktop. I click save. We're saving the video. Test one. And now you'll see, in this case, doesn't really matter exact, like doesn't really matter where you save it, but um, it'll show up here, in this case, under movies. And then what I'll do is I'll open up Handbrake. And Handbrake, you can just Google it. Just Google Handbrake and you can download it for free. This is what'll pop up. Now you're gonna open the source. I gotta look for that movie I just created, which will be in desktop. And probably what I'm gonna guess down here. So I open that up. And what this will do is it'll compress the file size to about a tenth, uh, roughly, of the original file size. So now I've got the video up. I just, all I do is click web optimized. That's the only change I make. And then I'll just click start. And the one thing that you want to do is uh, just, uh, just establish where you want to save it. So I didn't actually do that in the video. But what you'll do is you'll say browse, establish where you want to save that video. In this case, it's saving it to the Breakthrough Bookings uh, course tab because there's those were the videos that I was creating. So now when I open up the Breakthrough Bookings course folder, I should see that video in here and it should show up as test one. Um, so now what we can see is that when it's in here, it's about, um, if we go info, so 291 kilobytes, which is, uh, it's going to be a lot smaller than the original file size. I don't know if I can find the original file size on here. Let's see if I can. Um, if this is it, will this give me the ability to? No. Well, unfortunately, because <laughs> I'm not, I'm actually, despite the fact I'm making these, I'm not a computer guy. Uh, so, yeah, that doesn't tell me the file size in this, but I can pretty much promise you it's going to be a larger file size. So, that's how we create a video in QuickTime, and then how we compress it using Handbrake. And then from that folder, so from the folder that we put it into, then we'll upload it to YouTube or whatever destination we want to upload it to. All right, so that's how you do that.